Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw that cute tiger in Adobe Illustrator. And as well, it's the symbol of the year 2022. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Now you see the size of my workspace and now you see the colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original AI file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw. Well, my workspace is ready and my colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take gray color and rectangle tool and draw the background. Okay, like that. And now let's lock the background in the layers like this. Now let's take that color and ellipse tool. And we need to create ellipse uh, 337 to 337 ok move it here now let's take direct selection tool and uh, we need to select that point and move it a little up and select this point and the same a little up. Okay. Now take white color and ellipse tool. Draw the ellipse like this. Move here. Now hold out and make the copy. Select both. Now select both and align them. Make them a little bigger like this. Okay, I think it's great size. Now go to Pathfinder and Unite. Now select all shapes and align them. Now copy and paste this shape and select the copy and the white shape. Pathfinder intersect. Now let's create the eyes. Take dark color and ellipse tool and we need to create ellipse 28 to 28. Okay. Move here. Hold odd and make the copy. Now take brush tool double click to brush tool and we need here this option and let's draw the nose like this okay now select the nose make it shorter and change stroke to fill a little bigger now it's great copy and paste the nose rotate it and put it here select this color rotate it move down make the ear bigger now right click transform reflect vertical copy and move here Select both and align them. Now take a dark orange color, this one, and brush tool and draw here the shape like this. Okay. Now select the shape and change stroke to fill and select the nose and move it to front 
play with the shape till you like it. Yes, I like it. Uh, and now let's take dark color, again brush tool and draw here the mouth like this. A little up. You can stay it like that or you can go to transform reflect vertical copy and move the copy here. Okay. Select both shapes and move them a little up. Now, now let's take um, pink color without stroke and ellipse tool and we need to create ellipse 47 to 47. Okay, move here and the copy here. Now again let's take dark color in the stroke and brush tool and draw some lines here. Select both and I want to change here the size to 0 0.8 and right click transform reflex vertical and copy and move here okay and uh, now let's take brush tool again and we need this size of the brush better this one and just draw some points Okay, now let's uh, take this color and this brush and brush tool and some points here. Okay, now copy and paste the ear, make the copy smaller, select this uh, color, make the copy smaller and let's unlock the background, select background, ear and uh, the black shape and send them back. Now I need to reflect this shape, Tra right click, transform reflect vertical copy and move this shape here, select the background and the ear, send them back. And this shape put here. Now uh, I want to play with the shape, make it a little longer like that. Okay. Now let's take this color and brush tool and draw here some lines like this. Okay, you can make the shape a little smaller and the same here or just move it or make it smaller as you like. Okay, let's move this shape. Make it a little longer and I think let it be bigger, a little down. Okay, now let's select that color and ellipse tool and we need to create ellipse 215 to 223. Move here, 
select background and that shape and send them back a little up uh, now I need to take a pen tool and draw here the leg first point will be here the second will be uh, here now hold and drag the point to round the line like that select the point move here now go up and the same hold and drag to round the line and close the path now i need to uh, take a rectangle tool with the same color and draw here the rectangle uh, the rectangle like that a little wider and select that point hold and drag to round the corner now select these two shapes Pathfinder unite uh, now select the that point and hold and drag to round the corner the same here okay now select the leg right click transform vertical uh, transform reflect vertical copy and move the leg here align them and now select this free shape for finder unite and now i need to round corners uh, here and here let's select that corner and round it let's select that one if you can't round the corner it means you have one more point so you need to take the pen tool with uh, minus and delete the point and now you can round the corner and let's round the corner here you can round uh, the corner like that or you can round uh, the corners a little so let's select again these two points and a little up them like that okay now select the body in and um, background and send them back a little up the body uh, now let's take uh, the light color and ellipse tool and draw here the cute tummy select uh, background and the body and send back make the ellipse a little bigger take the direct selection tool and move this point a little up like that now take green color and brush tool and draw here the scarf like this change uh, stroke to fill and send the body the scarf and the background to back uh, now let's play with the shape let's make it shorter a little up and now let's select uh, the shape take curvature tool and play with the points to create more realistic view of the scarf okay uh, and now let's uh, take a rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle like this okay move here let's select these two points with direct selection tool and round the corners 
and now select uh, these shapes and background and send them back now i need light color and brush tool okay and i need the light color in the stroke and i need that that brush and just make some points to make design for our uh, scarf okay let's play with the points now let's uh, take a dark green color and brush tool and this brush and draw here some details okay you can stay it like that or you can play like me uh, let's take uh, this shape and curvature tool and let's play with the shape and now let's uh, make uh, there Th that shape of the scarf of the scarf a little longer and we need to select these shapes make that part a little longer okay more longer unselect that shape and you can make longer these shapes and make them thinner for example 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 as you like now let's take uh, the <coughs> smooth tool and smooth here the corner the corner a little now copy and paste uh, this shape and copy and paste this shape of the scarf uh, move this copy a little down select uh, the copy of the scarf select both copies for finder and uh, intersect and now i need to uh, take this color and let's lock the background lock it uh, sorry lock lock the background and select the head and send it to front okay and let's select this shape and make it longer like this and move the shadow a little down and a little up like that now i need to copy and paste this shape of the scarf and copy and paste this shape select uh, this shape and move down Select both copies, Pathfinder intersect, and take this color and send backward. Now uh, take this shape and carriage a tool, move the line a little down, and move the shadow a little up. Now let's take the ellipse tool with the light orange color and create the ellipse with the size. 244 to 125 okay put here now unlock the background ah, background unlocked and send the hand back like that uh, now uh, move the shape a little down and lock the background and now take again ellipse tool with the same color and let's create the ellipse 
63 to 110. Now let's take a direct selection tool and move this point up. Okay, now rotate it and move here. Rotate it more. Okay, now uh, twice uh, select the hand and twice copy and paste it. Move one of the copies a little up and a little to the left and rotate it. Select both copies and Pathfinder minus front and take that color. Okay, now select both shapes, group them. Now transform reflect vertical copy and move here. Okay, select both and align them like this. Now uh, let's take a pen tool and this color and draw here the shadow like that. Okay, let's move a little down and to the center. And now let's draw the tail with the same dark orange color. I need to take um, a brush tool and in the stroke I think I take this brush with the size 2 uh, 0.5. Let's draw. I think it's too thin. Select the line and take this brush. Now it's great. And let's unlock the background. Select the background and the tail and send it back. Okay. Now let's draw the cup of the milk. Uh, now lock the background and take uh, this red color in the fill. Ellipse tool. Let's draw the ellipse 93 to 117. Okay. Let's take direct selection tool, select these two points, move them down with help of arrows on your keyboard. Okay, let's take ellipse tool and draw the ellipse like, the, like that. We need to cut off uh, the part of the cup, go to Pathfinder and minus front, make it a little longer. Now let's take uh, that, no, this color and ellipse tool. Draw here the first ellipse like this. Uh huh. Now we need to let's move a little mm, well now it's great now copy and paste twice this ellipse now one of the copies move a little down like that select both copies and pathfinder intersect take this color now twice copy and paste this shape. Move one of the copy here, select both copies, 
and uh, Pathfinder uh, intersect. Now let's select this shape, uh, direct selection tool and round the corner. Take this color and now double click to the color here and take the color a little darker than our color like this. Okay. The mill is ready. Now let's take a brush tool with this brush and white co light color in the stroke and let's draw the heart. Okay. And change Rotate it a little, move here and change stroke to fill. Okay, it's pretty cute. Uh, now let's move this point here. And now let's move that point here. We need to create an perfect shape. Like that. And here we need to fix the shape here make it shorter and move this point a little up okay now let's uh, take this color and draw the ellipse to like this, the ellipse like this. Now copy and paste this ellipse, make it shorter, move here. Now select both, Pathfinder uh, exclude. Okay, and now the same, take dark section tool and play with the points. Okay. Now, uh, copy and paste uh, the shape of the cup, send to back, move backward, move down, and take this color, opacity, multiply. And now let's uh, select the cup and group it. Select hands and send them uh, to front and put the cup of the milk here. Okay, it's pretty cute. And now let's draw the hair. Just take dark color and brush tool and draw like this. It looks pretty cute. So I am going to show you a few examples and then you can draw your own hair. Okay. And now let's draw hair everywhere. Of course, you can change the stroke weight and stroke size. Okay, it's pretty cute. Yes, I like it. Now let's take this color and egg and brush tool and draw here their hat, Christmas hat. change stroke to fill. 
and now let's take this color and brush tool and draw here the shape like this send to back to, to front sorry and change here stroke to fill now the same color and the same light color and again brush tool and draw here the shape like this okay change stroke to fill let's play with the shape i think i want to put it here let's select this shape and rotate it rotate this shape now dark selection tool take this shape and draw on the corner like that okay and now if you like you can select the head and make it uh, smaller aha uh -huh, it's pretty cute and if you like you can play with the head a little more for example uh, select the head and move it here okay and now let's select the tiger move here we need a black color and bra brush tool and draw here their bubble like that now change here the position like this and change stroke to fill now take text tool and let's change the size to 100 and i i'm going to take this font you will find it below this tutorial and let's write roar take this color and put here now uh, right click uh, create outlines move a little up and now it's great now take light color light gray color and draw here the ellipse uh, send background and that ellipse to back select the ellipse opacity multiply select the ellipse make it smaller move here it's the shadow okay change here the opacity the transparency to 50 and now let's take this color and ellipse tool and draw some ellipses it will be like the snow and now let's change stroke fill to stroke and take star tool and draw some stars with different size and i want to change uh, the mm, stroke to this to this stroke and let's play with the size of the stars i think that stars will be more smaller and this one a little bigger and the same here okay and now select the whole composition and move it to the center well guys our cute tiger 
is ready. That's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Mwah. See you in the next tutorials. Bye bye guys.